Mr. Speaker, tonight uh, in this hallowed chamber of the House in the U.S. Capitol, we pay tribute to a good friend, a patriot, a loyal member of this House of Representatives and the Senate, and that's John McCain, who we lost last week after a long and productive life. It seems fitting that we're here in the House chamber with the portraits of George Washington and the Marquis de Lafayette, two generals in the Army of the Liberation in our American Revolution, two comrades at arms, two people who set the standard for high ethical standards of leadership and leading us in what we treasure today, our United States of America. And really, John McCain epitomized that. Well, Mr. Speaker, it may be unusual that a member from Arkansas would lead a tribute in honor of our colleague, but there's a connection. Because when I started, one of my earliest jobs was serving uh, Senator John Tower of Texas on his personal staff and on the staff of the Senate Banking Committee. And you couldn't work for John Tower and not be a friend to John McCain. Uh, because John McCain was, a, as a young captain, the liaison to the Senate between 1977 and 1981, and then he ran for office in 1982 in his home state of Arizona. He said it was hard to decide to run. He didn't have really a home. The longest place he'd lived before he ran for Congress from Arizona was in the Hanoi Hilton, Mr. Speaker. And John Tower broke his promise to not campaign and mess around in a Republican primary by traveling Arizona and Texas, helping John McCain win his election in 1982. They were, like Lafayette and Washington, comrades in arms. Both Navy men towered the senior most enlisted man elected to the Senate, and John McCain, a captain, son, and grandson of admirals. Tower's favorite story about John was when they went to Oman, and Captain McCain was his escort officer on a Kodel, and they were with the Sultan of Oman out in the desert in a tent, arrayed on beautiful carpets. And as you know, it's bad protocol to show one's soles of feet in the Arab culture. And John McCain, Mr. Speaker, can't bend his, could not bend his legs from his beatings in the Hanoi Hilton. And so there he was cross-legged, or tried to be cross-legged on that tent in Oman with the soles of his feet pointing directly at the Sultan. And it was Tower who said, Majesty, please understand that Captain McCain can't properly cross his legs as he was a POW in Vietnam and is crippled from that horrible ordeal. And the Sultan of Oman said, my dear Senator, I'm a graduate of Sandhurst and a former captain in the British Army of the Rhine. I understand. And it is a pleasure to have Captain McCain at our table. Years later, it was John McCain who worked his tail off to try to have John Tower confirmed as Secretary of Defense in 1989 for my old boss, President Bush, to no avail. But in the minutes before that failed vote in the Senate, McCain turned to Tower and said, God bless you, John Tower. You're a damn fine sailor. So tonight, Mr. Speaker, I pay tribute to John McCain, his comradeship, his friendship with John Tower, his service to this country, his undenied patriot uh, leadership and strength in the country that we have.